Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, in today's video, it's time to put the homemade maple syrup evaporator inside of the new sugar shack. So if you've watched some of our previous videos, you know that we had the uh, evaporator outside last year and we had a big metal pipe that we used for a flu. So the first thing that we have to do is uh, go pick up the evaporator from brother-in-law Carl's because he's made a modification so that we can use a real flue pipe inside the sugar shack. So let's go pick up that evaporator and see how it looks. Stick around.
kind of go slow. This is the modification that uh, Carl did for us. Um, I'll put a picture up here and you can see the old flue pipe that we had coming up out through for last year. But now we've got this, uh, this is pretty fancy, it's a nice piece of chrome. Um, and that's going to be a perfect fit for our flue pipe. We're going to take a little jiggling and wiggling to get it down inside, but it's going to look just like that. And we're going to go up to our uh, recently installed uh, chimney up there. Okay guys, so there you have it. We've got the, uh, the homemade maple syrup evaporator in place. I think the flue looks relatively straight. I think we did a decent job of putting that in. We've got it jacked up off of the concrete floor here, about probably about a foot, and uh, it's built on a very strong steel base as you can see. So there's a couple reasons why I wanted to jack this up this high. One was we had to jack it up to get the flue pipe together. The second thing is, is that uh, in a maple sugar shack, locally, um, they had an explosion in their concrete uh, one season. And they had their uh, maple syrup evaporator was too close to the floor, and there was too much heat going into the concrete pad, and uh, there's moisture in the concrete pad. And it was hot enough that it turned that moisture into steam, and the steam didn't have anywhere else to go, so it exploded. And uh, nobody got hurt, but uh, I think it was a real eye-opener for everybody involved. So we're keeping ours well up off the floor because there is no fire block or anything inside of this. Um, the other thing was, when we were boiling down outside, when I went to take ashes out of here, I was very close to the ground. And uh, when I went to put wood in, I was also bending over quite a bit to put the wood in. So I think this is gonna be better so I can have a seat right in front and throw wood in and not have to bend over too far. So a couple reasons why we did that, the way that we did in case you're wondering. So now, I'm just going to give you a little look into what this is going to be like when we get all done. I'm going to clean this up and probably paint it with uh, stove paint, but we'll get our pan on top. Okay. And we put a level on it and everything is straight and true. So uh, I think we're in business here. Anyway, can't wait to try it out. Okay guys, so we worked away and got a little more wood in here in our wood pile. This isn't nearly enough for uh, maple syrup season, but it's a start. We'll keep working on that and uh, we'll get some seasoned firewood to bring in here as well and that'll top us up. So this was a good job done today. Pretty excited to have the evaporator inside. Now I can come in and work away at this and uh, 
get uh, get it painted up and get it looking good, and uh, we're going to be all set for uh, for maple syrup season. But like we always say, guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family, and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one, guys.